taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lights so here, we're back with another video guys, so we are going to talk about Refund and Habibi. Alright guys, two meme coins that I am bullish on right now, despite what we see happening in the market. Alright guys, we've got some SEC FUD, we've got um, top blue chips failing, falling, alright guys. Um, but in the midst of this, this is a um, it's, it's an opportunity to accumulate tokens that we're bullish on, whether it be blue chips, whether it be low caps like habibi like rfd okay guys and i'm still bullish on these coins i haven't sold any um so yeah um let's start with habibi all right guys because i normally start with refund let's start with habibi you can see the refund chart is looking super bullish but um habibi okay so habibi if you don't know what this is guys let's just go onto the website this started off as an nft project some years ago and they now have their own token okay um you can see the token address on here. I'll link the chart in the description as well. Okay, guys. But this is basically an NFT staking platform or an NFT. This, there's an NFT connected to this. If we go to OpenSea, there's an NFT connected to this project. And um, you can actually earn another token called OIL. Okay, guys. Now, I'm not an NFT holder on this project. I see the floor price has gone down on this as well. But um, we are basically invested in the Habibi token, which is new. Okay, so trying to capitalize on the hype of this project. It's hot number four right now, and it is consistently trending hot since it launched. Okay, it came out with a bang, and it's come down. So this, you're getting a way better price than me on this token if you're buying this token right now, I'll tell you that. I'm still holding this token, despite, I think I bought it in over here. So I bought the top, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, but I'm still holding it, and we're seeing the chart. Looks like it has bottomed out. Okay, so I expect this to start coming up. And um, hopefully if we break this level, I shall be in profit on this token. But not every trade goes your way at the end of the day. Full transparency. Like I said, I bought it at the top, um, which I thought it was going to break out. If you watch my previous video, I thought we were going to get... We actually did get a little bit of a breakout, but I held it. And um, it got rejected and it came down. So, um, you know, my thought process on this particular token is where is it going to be in the next month? Okay, in the next couple of weeks, this could have broken its all-time high. Um, it can happen within a few days. Um, all we need is the market to turn around. When the market turns around and everyone gets bullish on meme coins again, I believe this is going to be one that benefits highly from that. So I'm still holding this token and I'm considering buying some more, potentially. We'll see. But at the moment... You know, um, this is not the time for me to be selling out of this project. If you look at the liquidity, it's 756,000. So it's got a very strong liquidity for what it is, a low market cap of 2.42 million. And that's that for me is what makes it stand out. Of course, it was a lot higher before, but um, the liquidity is growing despite the price falling. Okay, so that's why I'm bullish on Habibi. Okay, guys, and of course, with the fundamentals on it, it's not just turned up. Um, I mean, yes, this token has just turned up um, in the last, um, when did it launch? It, it launched on the 6th of June. So this token has turned up in the last few weeks, but um, the project has been around for a lot longer than that, or at least the NFT. So, you know, that's why I'm investing in this token and the community. The community is pretty strong as well. Um, I like the vibe in here as well, although I'm not in here much. But um, it is what it is. I really like this project and that's why I'm invested in it. So, of course, you guys know that I'm bullish on RFD and the chart is looking super bullish. We got this breakout. Okay, again, I haven't sold any of these tokens. I'm holding it. All right, guys. But the chart is looking very nice to me at this level. Like I said, this is the accumulation zone. All right, guys. And I have bought more of this token um, over here. And the last time I bought was right down here, actually. And then it came up, just holding it. It popped out again, still holding it. I believe we're going to come up to this level. And my hope is that we can break this level. Once we break this level, we begin to build some good ground above this level. And these are going to be... Because, again, I bought this token. When I first bought this token, I bought over in this level over here. Okay, we broke this level. We came up and we went on a moon mission. Okay, now... Me, like a silly plum, I didn't take any profits, okay? But that's because I strongly believe in the long term of this project. And what I do is I like to zoom out, okay? So if I look at that like that, it looks to me like it hasn't really done much, okay? Um, it's not always the best strategy, but it does work out for me um, a lot of the time as well. Just zooming out on the charts and looking at the macro potential of 
the particular the, the project okay guys it came down gave you another opportunity to take some profits out of there and then it came all the way down okay and now i feel like this has bottomed out tried to break out um or it, well it did break out at this level over here and it's basically just bouncing around waiting for a perfect moment this is another one with strong liquidity at 6.76 million market cap of 13.8 million and again the community super bullish this again trending as usual okay trending as usual actually habibi's number one now but trending as usual hot number four rfd in fact let's just refresh that because maybe habibi is not number one and maybe rfd is not number four yeah so rfd is number four habibi is number one so um again project looks bullish okay could this be a double triple bottom one two um i think we had a double bottom over there this is just a pullback after this 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 breakout but um yeah this is still looking strong going into next week i'm anticipating because there's been such a sell-off in the market okay uh, polygon um ada cardano you know bitcoin has been holding strong um ethereum has been holding strong i'm still seeing signs of strength in the market although some of the um higher cap altcoins have took a dump but this is basically just like an isolated fud issue coming from the sec and so on i think that once people get over that they see the strength in the market we're going to see a lot more capital flowing back into the market and things like rfd things like habibi they, they are very high risk very high risk but we're going to see the the altcoins ultimately get some good ground in my opinion so i'm still bullish still bullish on rfd still bullish on habibi habibi is a little bit more high risk but um <clears throat> again it was more high risk over here than it is over here this is like buying the bottom in my opinion okay guys so i'll leave the links in the description for the charts and whatnot um so that's it for this video subscribe to the channel let me know what you think in the comments are you bullish on rfd maybe you're bullish on habibi maybe you're not even in habibi or rfd yet and after this video you're thinking about buying some based on my bullishness but remember it's not financial advice so do your own research i'm just speculating on the market and this is just my opinion okay guys i like these particular meme coins above all the rest at the moment so i'm going to leave the links in the description once again subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications like the video which helps with the youtube algorithm leave me a comment down below and i'll see you in the next video